welcome back to another episode and welcome to the beautiful Milestone. So we're staying here for two nights and we're on site 131 which is an awesome double slab site. It was so good to finally get up here to see Grant and Trina who I met at Seal Rocks when I was staying there. They are absolute legends and when we arrived they greeted us and they also gave us two reflection towels as an engagement present so that was a really nice surprise and thank you guys and a big shout out to Grant for his hospitality while we were staying here. He took us out on the boat and showed us around the local area, gave us loads of information and we also went and played bowls in the afternoon at at the bowling club so big shout out to Grant you absolute legend thanks for making our stay what it was and we'll definitely be back you won't be disappointed with any of the sites here as they're all relatively level large awesome sites here they have slab sites which are all new double slab sites and they also have three astroturf sites and all of the rest are grass sites all of the sites are large sites especially sites 132 134 and 135. This area in here is awesome. It's adjacent to the pool and it's a quieter area. Highly recommend if you're staying here to choose this area where we stayed. We thoroughly enjoyed it and it backed onto the reserve. If you're after cabins, they have a range of cabins here from beach tents, small cabins, family cabins, and also they have two pet friendly cabins. We were given the keys to two cabins and a beach tent while we stayed here. The first one that we walked through was beach tent 136. You were met with a covered deck with a picnic table. You were greeted with a kitchen to the right which has a microwave, full fridge, all cooking utensils and cutlery and a plug-in cooktop. To the left is a lounge area with a LCD TV, Foxtel and large L-shaped lounge. To the back is a queen bed and a set of single bunks and an ensuite sized bathroom with a toilet, vanity and enclosed shower. There are two large fans and a heater for the cooler months. The next cabin we walked through was cabin 114. You were greeted with a covered deck with tables and chairs. You then walked through to a combined kitchen dining lounge area. The kitchen has a full fridge, microwave, electric cooktop and all cooking utensils. There is a set of single bunks adjacent to an ensuite sized bathroom with a toilet, vanity and shower. At the rear there is a double bed with a fan, TV and wardrobe. This cabin has air conditioning. The last cabin we walk through is cabin 120 which is a family cabin which consists of two bedrooms. You are greeted with an enclosed deck and picnic table. Inside there is an open plan lounge and dining area with a six seater table and large lounge with LCD TV and Foxtel. There is a full size kitchen with all of the appliances including a dishwasher. The first bedroom has two sets of single bunks and the main room with a double bed, TV and wardrobe. There is a separate toilet and to the back is a bathroom with a shower and vanity. This cabin also has air conditioning. The park offers free putt-putt golf, a pool, two camp kitchens and a children's play area. The beach is fully pet friendly and there is a dog bath within the park. They also offer yoga on Monday mornings and some Fridays in the pool yard. I recommend taking a short walk to Milestone General Store which offers a great breakfast burger and coffee. It overlooks the river and across the road is a great park for the kids. The bowling club offers pizza and Chinese in there. The menus can be found at reception. This is such a beautiful, quiet, beachy town. We loved our stay here. This would be great if you have a boat and you're into fishing. You have great access to the river and there's some awesome crabbing and fishing spots and the water is so clear. So highly recommend if you have a boat, you're into fishing or you just want a really relaxed, chilled holiday, come to Milestone, you won't be disappointed. Mm -hmm. 